fire sign. So I'm going to do Leo, Aries, and then Sagittarius, you know. Let's see what's cooking. You know, fire is, you know, hot, unpredictable, and energetic. So let's see if that's the vibe that we're going to go with for the rest of this week, you know. There we go. Oops. I'm going to have to give the cards a good shuffle because I have recharged them. So they're good to go. Pass over the light. Make sure there's no negativity attached to them. There we go. And give them a quick sweep before we begin. There we go. Let's get going. I'm going to start with Leo. What's in store for Leo for the next seven days? What's in store for Leo for the next seven days? If you're new here, I'm Tamsi Faye, and how I read the cards is to the light to you and to the dark to me. I'm just going to go with the present energy, you know, just for this week. See what's going on. I got the justice. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Five of Wands. Can you see that? There we go. So for the Justice here, what I'm feeling is, you know, I feel like you've been working on like getting some balance in your life, you know, like you're trying to work on a routine and you're trying to stick to your routine, you know, it's a new year. I feel like you put together some kind of new routine or just a new, a new swing of things kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see that, mm -hmm. I can really feel that. Then you got the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is, you know, the wheels are turning, you know. You got some big ideas going on here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can feel that. I feel like you've come to a turning point in your life where things are turning around for you, which is really good. You know, you got your balance going on. You got your schedules on track kind of thing or... You know, we do have bumps in our schedule every now and then, but I feel like it's going, you know. Even though there's a few bumps going on the road there. It's still going, you know. It's still going. You're still on track. Things are on track. Uh-huh, uh -huh. I feel like maybe this turning point may bring some, some new inspiration of some sort, you know. Then we have the five wands, and the five wands generally represents... So, you know, it's a group of witches, and they're, like, having a really heated discussion. You know, they all have their wands out, you know. Um, I kind of feel like that energy. You know, even though things are going well and stuff, there's something on your mind, you know. Maybe you, the conflict is, like, within yourself or with someone else, but we'll just verify on that, you know. Maybe you're torn between... Um, you know, sticking to your routine, sticking to being on track, to being persuaded into something else. I don't know. Let's just see. You got the chariot. The four of pentacles. And the three of pentacles. Okay. So the chariot is always like things are moving along, right? Things are going, things are moving. Mm -hmm. I, th I see that. Yeah, your routine and, or your schedule or whatever things you're working on is going for you, you know? Mm -hmm. I see that. I feel like you're confident in your choices right now and you're confident in the focus that whatever it is that you're focusing on, you know? You're focusing on something and you're putting it together and it's working. Uh-huh, you're just moving along, you know, there's a little bit of bumps in the road, but you're moving along anyway, because to you, it's moving smoothly, I can see that. And the Four of Pentacles, she's, you know, she's all about material wealth and that sort of thing, right? So I feel like, you know, you're trying to 
build up something for some success, you know? Um, like, whatever you're working on, you know, you're... You're proud of it. I can see that. I can see that for sure. You're proud of it. You're working towards it. You're putting more effort into it than you were before. Um, or you just feel more passionate about it suddenly than you did before. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I feel that for you. Then you got the three of pentacles. And she's about creating something, you know? Like she's trying to manifest something that, you know... I see that. I see that for sure. I wonder if we can validate exactly on what you're trying to manifest or what is working out for you. What is going on for Leo? Like, how? What is going on with all this positivity? It's great. You know? There's a bit of a conflict within themselves, but I guess this is what is going on. Let's just see. Okay. Okay. Four of Wands. She's. I don't know, you can't really tell my photo here, but um, I think I've said this many times. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's a basket kind of thing. It's kind of like, you know, grapevines or whatever twined together to create a basket for the harvest. So you're kind of like harvesting ideas and you're harvesting a plan. And you're harvesting, I think, whatever this is that you're working on. You're harvesting, you know, collecting ideas and being motivated towards something, you know. Whatever it is, I feel like you've, you're you on track, you know, you built up this routine um, around something that you're passionate about, something you want to work out. Um, then you have the moon. I feel like the moon kind of represents sometimes that we have fears within ourselves. Even though we're proud of it and we love it and it's moving smoothly, um, maybe a little bit of the bumps in the road is... I don't know why I say that, because none of the cards say that. I just feel like there's everything's running smoothly, but there is a few bumps. And maybe that's where this fear is coming from, is that, you know, you're kind of worried about those little bumps. Even though I see maybe you you realize that that is what is going on. Or maybe something that's just that you're not unaware of. Maybe bumps in the row that you are not seeing. The moon can kind of indicate either way, you know? Mm-hmm. Then you have the star, and the star is like full of blessings, right? You know? Mm. I feel like you're being blessed by the universe, you know? You're in good health, good news, you know? You have hope, you have faith. And I feel like this, this thing that you're working on is really good. Like the cards do recognize the little bumps and that your little interferes that you may not be aware of yet. But overall, the star reassures you that it's going to be okay, and you're on the right track, you're on the right path, and there's no chaos in your journey this week, you know? So that's awesome, right? Hey, no chaos. You can't get better than no chaos in a week, right? <laughs> um, that's it for Leo. The next I'm going to go to Aries. What's in store for Aries for the next seven days? Let's just see. What's in store for Aries for the next seven days? in store for Aries. We got the Five of Cups. The Three of Cups. Sorry, I don't know why I said the Three of Cups. The Four of Cups. And then the Eight of Wands. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why I pulled out the Four of Cups, but I instantly went to Three of Cups. Things that are coming together. And you're working on a common goal with someone else. Five cup represents that, you know, things are moving smoothly. Like whatever was in the past energy before is kind of like under the bridge now. And you're ready to cross the bridge, you know. You don't care what cups you knock over. You're going to cross it anyway kind of deal, you know. Things are looking good for you. I see that. I see that a lot. Yeah, I feel like even though you're crossing the bridge and you're knocking the cups over... I kind of feel like whatever's under the bridge, you're still hanging on to it kind of thing, you know? I don't know. I don't know, Aries. What's going on? You know? I feel all this positive energy, but you have something that's, you know, pulling you under the bridge kind of thing. <laughs> um, then you get the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is, you know, about planting your seed, you know, planting your idea, and watching it grow kind of thing, you know? 
I feel like you're pulling yourself together to regroup. That may be part of what's underneath the bridge here, but you're pulling yourself together to regroup with someone. Mm. I feel like you're putting on a brave face for, for somebody or for some reason or other. Maybe it's for yourself or maybe it's for someone else. But you're putting on a brave face, then um, you're trying to get this thing put together, but you, you're not feeling satisfied with what you're working on right now. You know? ah, I feel like there's this block where I can't see exactly what you're working on, but I can feel like you're working on it with somebody else. And you're trying to put on a brave face kind of thing. Like you don't want them to know that what you're working on isn't really satisfying to you for one reason or another. Then you got the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands, you know, is a person that with the fiery six and he's always full of energy and, you know, it takes a lot of power to manipulate the stick. And that sort of energy is what I'm feeling, you know, with the fiery energy. You being a fire sign, it makes total sense that you have all this fiery energy with you. You want to make this work out. But, you know, you're not 100% into it kind of thing, you know? Whatever it is. And I feel like whatever it is, you're kind of not... Sorry, there's a snow plow going by. <laughs> it got a lot of snow last night. Hear that? <laughs> this card wants to come out, so... The strength, magician, guess that's not for you, it doesn't want to come out. Three of cups, mm, they're all in the dark. Oh, some energy going on here. Um, mm, I feel like you have a little bit of a lack of control for some reason or other. Because you're feeling a little bit like you don't have 100% control over this thing that you're working on with somebody. You're feeling like, you know, like maybe you're losing some of your strength kind of thing, like within yourself. Because you don't have full control over the situation or whatever it is that you're working on. Uh-huh. And there's the magician, right? The magician is about, you know... Tapping into your untapped talents, you know. But I feel like, I feel like maybe the reason why you're not fully into this is because you kind of feel like you might be being mis misled into whatever it is, you know. Like you want to do it, you're ready for it, whatever it is you're working on, you're planted the seed. I kind of feel like part of it was like your idea, or like you believe in the idea, or whatever. But you're kind of questioning it at the same time. Then the Three of Cups. I feel like the Three of Cups is that this is something that you were passionate about. But now you're questioning your passion, whatever this is. Maybe you feel like you're not supported by the, your partner or whoever you're working with. And you're maybe you feel like you're doing all of the work. And you feel like they're not putting in as much effort as you are. Or either you're feeling like they're overstepping the ground kind of thing. And maybe that's where you feel where you lost your control. This is where, you know, you want to work with this person. But at the same time, your inner emotions are like kind of taking over. Maybe that's where you're losing control as your emotions are taking over your ideas. You know, taking over your passions. Maybe a little bit of your emotions are winning over your overall feeling about the situation that's going on here. Let's just see. You have the devil, the temperance, and the emperor. You know, the de devil means you're tied down to the situation, right? You're tied down in working with this person. You're tied down to this project or work or whatever it is. Um, maybe you're like just working on a relationship with this person, but like not romantically, just maybe it's a new friendship or an old friendship or just something you're trying to make work. You're trying to, I don't know, trying to put something together or other. You have the temperance and the temperance is also, you think if you don't take like control over the situation or you don't, you don't think if you don't 
work out whatever's going on. Um, yeah, I feel like if you don't fix what's going on here, it's, you're going to feel like the whole project or whatever it is is going to fall apart, you know? The emperor, the emperor here, you know, he sees that you want the control. It's about control. I feel like the whole strength card and stuff is about you feel like you're losing control over whatever it is that you're working on, whatever you're trying to manifest or whatever you're trying to work on. You feel because you're losing control, it's going to fall apart. So you're kind of like doubting what this is or what is going on here. I just feel like it's, this is a discussion you need to talk to with your partner or whoever it is that you're working on. You know, I just feel like it's time to have a little discussion on like just see w like where you are, where they are, you know. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, we get so much into our work and stuff, we forget to, like, you know, do a little check-in on each other, you know, just see where their mindset is at, where your mindset is at. Just to, like, just double-check in to make sure you're both on the same page and that you both want to move forward in this thing that you're working on. And see, like, I'm never going to talk about where do you want to see this project go, you know, kind of thing. I mean, this is for the week, so maybe this hasn't happened yet. But I feel like it may happen or this discussion may come up within the next seven days. And, you know, I don't see it as being a bad discussion. It's just a general discussion to see where you're both at, you know, kind of thing. Hopefully that was helpful for you, Eris. Um, Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to move on to Sagittarius. What is in store for Sagittarius for the next seven days? Let's just see what's in store for Sagittarius for the next seven days. Not your card. <laughs> oh, the Magician. Okay. Okay. He wants to make an appearance again. The Temperance. The Knight of Wands. Okay. The magician, you know, he's about manifesting, eh? You know, I feel like you're trying to manifest something. You're trying to make something happen or you're working on something already or, you know, I feel like you're looking into your resources to see what you can work on, you know, like what, I don't know. There's something you want to do. You're looking into it, you know, doing your research about it. You got the temperance here. And she kind of suggests that you're in need of bringing out your balance. You know, you're trying to manifest something. She, she says you're trying to, like, balance yourself kind of thing, you know? Trying to, like, get a middle ground, you know? You're trying to get yourself together, you know? You're trying to establish a routine that's going to work for you. Maybe work for your family, like, work for your household, you know? You're just trying to work on something that's going to work out for everybody is what I'm feeling, you know? I feel like you're trying to avoid avoid, like, extremes, you know? And you're trying to stay calm, you know, like things, it's a new year, I feel that, I feel that, you know, everybody with a new year, they want to set new goals, new routines, new, you know, so much stuff, you know, I feel that there's so much pressure with a new year, you just think you need a, a restart with the year kind of thing, eh? Um, but I feel like you're trying to put something together and, yeah, you're trying to stay calm, at the same time, while you're trying to sort out your balance here. Then you got the Knight of Wands, you know, Knight of Wands is all that fiery energy. You got all that <laughs> fiery energy within you. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like you're maybe trying to stay calm in this situation. I don't know if it's like a work thing, a family thing, or you're trying to stay calm because you don't want anyone to see your true feelings about the situation here. You know? I feel like you have scattered energy. I feel like you're being a little frustrated with the whole situation. But you're trying to maintain your balance. You're trying to maintain your calm. 
Anyway, <laughs> let's see if we can validate on that, Sagittarius. What are they struggling with? What is Sagittarius struggling with for the next seven days? Five of Swords. Judgment. The Sun. Again, all in the dark. Hmm. She's kind of also suggesting that you're really torn within yourself, you know? You're really looking for that balance. Maybe it's a bit of balance between home life and work life. You're trying to find the balance between the two. And you're really torn, you know? I feel like maybe you want more help, but either you don't, can't have more help or you, or you don't want more help at the same time. You know, you're kind of torn between, you know, how to figure out this balance, or how to fit your, how to make up this routine. You want a routine, you want balance, but you, you're torn between, you don't know which direction to go into kind of thing, you know? Then you the judgment card, I feel like you're more torn, not so much of the balance, but maybe you're more torn because you're feeling judged in some way or other, or you're judging yourself. You think you should do better, but you just like, you know, but you're trying to stay calm and at peace with yourself. You don't want anyone to see that you're frustrated because you feel like I, you feel like you should have yourself all put together for some reason. You know, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like you're having some self doubt and you're feeling drained. You're just tired and exhausted. Maybe that's why you're kind of losing a little bit of your self-control, like your self-doubt and all that stuff is because you're so tired, you know, you've been working hard, you've been trying so hard to focus on being calm and collective and um, it's draining your energy. Then you have the sun, and the sun, you know, she sees that you're trying to f you're fake it, you know. You know, they say to fake it to make it, but, you know, it's draining you at the same time. You know, faking it until you make it doesn't always work, you know? Let's just see. How can Sagittarius get out of this this emotional roller coaster? How can Sagittarius get out of it? I don't know if this one wants to come out. I don't think they want to come out. I think it was just me. <laughs> How are they going to get out of this situation? How can they find their calm? Four of Swords. Ace of Wands. Death. Okay. Well, the Four of Swords is in the light. He's suggesting that you need a, a need for rest, you know? <laughs> he's tired, he's drained, he's overwhelmed, you know? He's in need of a good rest. Um, I feel your stress. I feel like you're in need of a relief from your stress. Then you got the Ace of Wands, you know? It's, it's the torch of fiery energy kind of thing, you know? I feel like you have a lot of ideas that want to come to light, you know? But your, your, your ideas are being covered by this cloud of darkness, you know? You have all these ideas that you want to do. You want to find your balance. You want to get your life together. You want to... I'm not saying that your life isn't together, just you want to find your balance. You know, you want your routine to work. You want your work life or home life or whatever to work out, you know. Whatever it is, you're trying to work it out, you know. If you're a parent, you're, maybe you're just trying to get your kids back on, you know, the routine. You know, after being off for two weeks for the holidays, you know, it's hard to get them back going again sometimes, you know. Like, whatever the situation is, you're just trying to get back on track. You feel like you've lost your track and you're trying 
you have all the ideas, you're like, you know what you need to do is just exhausting, you know, it's just, um, you're just tired, you're in need of a break. This card represents things are coming to an end, so I feel like by the end of the week, this, this energy will, you know, by next weekend, I feel like your energy will be recharged, and this, <laughs> there's an end, you know. Death card always represents that things are going to come to an end. So I feel like by the end of the next, by the next weekend, or s you will um, either get a break, or you'll just catch up on what you wanted to catch up on, or you know, things something will just work out in your favor. And um, yeah, but yeah, do some self care. You know, it's okay to have a me day. You know, the laundry will always be there if you take a day off. You know. It'll be there no matter what you do. Even if you catch up, you know, there'll be more laundry tomorrow. So whatever it is you need to do, have a self-care day. It's fine, you know? You know, things can wait. You need to recharge your batteries and, you know, <laughs> make some popcorn and watch a video or something, you know? Um, recharge those batteries, you know? Um, people in your life needs you. They need you to... They need your calm. So you need to... <laughs> Take care of yourself to regain that calm that you're looking for. I hope that it was helpful in one way or another, but it does look good by the end of the week, you know? Have some faith, and yeah, I'm sure it'll work out. So that's it for the fire signs. I hope to see you again next time. Next week, I will start with the individual readings instead of the group readings. I just thought I'd go back to the group readings just to see how it works out. But I think I'm going to go back to the individual readings instead of doing this group reading thing. I may just do this once in a while. It's just been chaotic, busy around here lately, you know. I'm in the same thing, trying to find my new balance for the new year kind of deal, you know. But we will figure it out, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!